Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. I am wondering where we need to go. This here looks um, like we're going very much deeper into their compound. And then we do have a couple. Oh, I forgot to say we're in episode 13 and I only got two deaths so far. Which is pretty good, I suppose, for Wasteland's standards. Got a lot of junk here. Curtis was right. The capital mall's got everything we need. There's room for everyone. Even tunnels where we can keep the pigs safe. Best of all, it's only got one entrance, which should be easy to defend. Make a home there, a place where we can start to build again. It's been two years, almost to the day, since the bombs fell. After everything we've been through, this feels like such a gift. <sighs> a blessing. For the first time since the world ended, I feel hopeful again. Okay, we found a giant worm, uh, and the only way how I know to deal with giant worm-like creatures is to smash in their skull. Let's start with Murphy marking the target. There are also a couple of bandits over here, but we're going to deal with you guys in a in a bit. Okay, well, since you have uh, so nicely marked it, let's give everybody a rally. And that means we got a nice little shot, but not really much else from it. Starting to hit it with a 50 cal. Oh yeah, that is more like it. Heavy machine guns are crazy. Good, Quan. I mean, listen. This thing looks big. Might as well give it an explosive bolt before switching to our rifle and then more damage, body, armor is already reduced I think. Good, we're charging in. Hogbite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slash is for 290. I like that. Another hit. And a free attack. We're going just outside of melee range. Preparing for next round. Blinding it. Move up into good hit chance into bonus damage. Nice.
And that thing has one action. Before it finally broke down. Nice. Good, we need to get up uh, lock picking. Remember how I said oh, it's way too low? Damn right, level six now. And we're not even at level seven where we should be. Um, crit resistance, evasion, con, armor, quick slots. What do we need with him? I think we're just going to do that bomb recovery. I really like the idea of getting more explosives as we play. Crafting component, junk, junk. Crafting component, crafting component, crafting. Well, that was not the best loot for a worm of his or its size, rather. Listen, we do have shotguns, so might not be the worst idea to get a little bit closer. Alright, Murphy. Close of barrel. That's a great start. Love it. Oh, I knew I forgot someone. Ramos is back there. Well, Central provides rally to everyone, so that's not bad. There's a guy with heavy weapon here, right? Yeah, so that guy needs to die. Another heavy weapon. Oh boy. Lucia moves in. This would be a good start because all three of uh, you guys are shrunk meaning less damage this guy quite well might as well do that but only after Lucia softens him up headshot it is the 150 damage are worth it Murphy, that could be a kill. Not quite close, though. Wow. 
Wow, what a massive hit. I like it. Don't like uh, the miss, though. Almost down. Damn it, we can't really move because no one is uh, f providing room. Those three are in the way. Barely out of range. Good, we're hitting center mass. That's the best we can do over here. Not even close. Well, I suppose we're laying in ambush then. We were in cover and he was small and we did provide ample of other targets. He's just <laughs> killing us. Lucia. Onto the arms this time, crippling him. Good, good damage, but just not enough to get that amount of enemy hit points down or up. Seventy five. Good enough. Marshall Quan. And Ramos. Ramos is moving up. Takes this guy down, which is great. And then Quan moves in. Hits him, but doesn't fully kill him. I think Murphy just heals himself. Yeah, and unfortunately, there isn't that much we can do.
Okay, luckily he just demor uh, chooses to demoralize instead of attacking. Oh, because he needed to reload. I see. Wow. Okay. Murphy got downed. Uh, meaning we need to use one of our kits. To remove the injury. Frontliner Hogbite is done with a melee combat and I think we're now just going to start with armor modding because we have seen that that was not good enough as well. Some of the armor mods that we had were just requiring higher armor. Level 5 for instance. Generally speaking, I think we should modify all of the armors. Have that little bit extra protection against damage. And in some cases... That might make the difference between uh, survival and not survival. Good. Cool. Then we got Quan. Getting the coordination up as well. Mechanics definitely important. Nerd stuff is not not important, but I think mechanics is more important. We have a couple of skill checks that heavily rely on it. And he's one of these guys where I think a deep pocket skilling makes sense. Because here's the deal. Uh, of course, less, uh, less cover is great, but it's not that important. When an ally is down in uh, combat gain combat speed for two turns, that on the other hand can be helpful. And mechanics, let's just double check. Repairing friendly vehicles, robots and deployables grants uh, seven armor for three turns. I wonder if we can get like one of those really cool robots. I know the one upstairs might be repairable. If we had a robot with us, oh my god, would we be unstoppable repairing vehicles boosts con deployable gets more damage that's not bad and that is a flat out damage bonus so all of that is not bad this year the um, robot hack is great as well but I think the most versatile one is just getting that extra inventory slot because now we do have that and that and we can also deploy the beacons which I think is helpful speaking about which I know for a fact that we got a couple of uh, LED matrixes and this is so worth it so we're going to use that Laser turrets might be a bit too expensive. Machine turrets good. Laser turrets very good, but quite expensive. So far, I like the machine turret because it's just extra damage in the harder fights, right? But we also need to appreciate we don't have unlimited scraps. Okay, seems legit, let's see what else we get. Junk, uh, smoke grenade, ammunition, this corpse had a nice little key, maybe one that we can use.
A normal grenade. Not bad either. The ammo boxes aren't really that fantastic. Okay, fair enough. You stay there whilst the rest... Okay, of course. I chose the guy with uh, mechanics that could repair this whole thing. And we're good. I wonder if we can get something out of all of those coins that we're collecting. Well, more fighting. There is a lieutenant with a huge mullet. Uh, that is a great uh, weapon. And that bastard here should die first. Okay, cool. thought we would not be immediately di uh, discovered. Enemy got their turn first. Mullet guy comes in. Enemy conceals themselves and then decides to come in. And conceals us, which is actually quite nice. Uh, they seem to like smoke grenades. Good, let's start, shall we? Hawk bite. Hits. And kills. That was an easy one. Central. Applies rallied to everyone. Then moves over into a corner. Quite definitely drinks. Murphy here. Way too close. I don't like what I'm seeing. This here could be a thing. Murphy will potentially go down because I can imagine this guy is just having an absolute swing. Okay, Murphy just got himself. A kill right there. We could move on or... We're continuing, and that was fantastic. That was a really good turn. Lucia moves in. I don't want to fight them, so let's try to apply stun. Stun, I think, does mean he cannot act. 
might be wrong, I might be right. Let's try it, but he's a high value target, so... Just having him stunned is good and getting closer so that we are in the smoke bomb is great. First round, Ramos gets that sweet, sweet extra speed. And intensely begins to take out that heavy weapons guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Quan follows his footsteps. Almost there. That's more like it. Murphy takes over an action point until next round. Hawkbite moves to here and takes over two action points until next round. I told you, one would likely go down. These guys are just dealing an incredible amount of damage. Good. Time for some skull cracking. Hit. Hit. Extra hit for 250. Another hit. Can't immediately shock that guy again, but we can hit his ugly hat and with that kill him. Quan heals himself. I think we're done with the fight. Fantastic. That stunning device, weird science, uh, weird science stunning device, is worth its 6 AP. Absolutely. Couple more healing darts. Speaking of which, the healing darts aren't bad either. So I'm wondering, I uh, should use uh, that decoy more often. Who could benefit from healing darts? Uh, not finding it yet. I can tell you who benefits from a good zip of alcohol or melee. And whilst we're at it, Central gets more attributes. I th think I need to maximize charisma. He's okay with coordination now. I want that sweet, sweet 10 charisma. Two, two, two. Hmm. Tough call. Let me get hard as up, and next uh, time we're getting barter to five. In terms of perks. The demoralize ability insults an enemy, distracting them. Less hit chance, critical chance. I, well, that's not bad. Not bad at all.
We got spray and pray. The puncturing shot is for assault rifles, so that is also assault rifles. This one would be submachine guns. If you move, then... Oh, that is a very good stormer. Uh, that requires eight in assault rifles, so next time we can take that to get the perk. For now, leadership. The demoralize is good against single targets. For your safety, please do not initiate customer protocol. Valued customer, enjoy what what is happening, my riches, please. Bring the ramen noodles. What do you mean by riches? Insert a silver no. coin. No, my riches, please. Examine the machine. We got a Snickers. Insert a silver oh, riches, uh, mm, coin. I uh, got a Snickers. All right. So wait a second. What's uh, what does a Snickers do? I hope it gives you 100% health because Snickers is absolutely bombastic in terms of calories. 20% healing. Pfft. Look. How could advertisement have lied to me over all these years? Another safe that we can't crack. The guy who can crack the safe, how long do you need? Well, you should just start with your level, my man. Initiate customer protocol. Valued customer. And jump, my riches, please. Okay, now we're getting other stuff. Please. Maybe if the pickles aren't particular great. Another Snickers. For your safety, please do not shake the machine. Have an awful day, thieves. Okay, well, that was good so far i think there is still a little bit more up here that we need to cover but for me it looks like this is a great uh, place to end today's episode we did remarkably well that is episode 13 done and we did not die uh, plus we got ourselves a fair amount of nice uh, little loot specifically the food is great and other than that, I think we're doing well. Let's just check before I wrap this one up. We don't have any of the special crafting uh, stuff, but we do have 900 scraps, which is good, I suppose. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, the decoys. We can definitely use uh, that. Not sure what a combat belt is. Ah, okay, this is all of this is armor uh, modifications. And we have plenty of repair kits. No, I think we're okay. Of course, I could always uh, get a few more of uh, these. Which I think would be great additions to our weapons. But point being, uh, the game switches weapons so frequently that I don't think it's really worth creating. Um, any of that before we're in the end game and since you can't get the weapon mods off you're a bit um, You're a bit limited to how often you want to do that Cool, well, I think that's it for today guys. Thanks a lot for watching if uh, you feel like you want to try the vending machine called like button then insert a few of your own nickels by clicking it and see you in the next episode bye bye